friends, it's Ray. <laughs> so today we'll be doing a Ross Draws tutorial. I've been wanting to do a series where I follow a bunch of really um, prominent art figures in the community. I guess their tutorials and their art and see how uh, follow-able it is. <laughs> Um, so today that's what we're doing and I've been putting this off for a really really long time because I never really just found time to sit down and uh, record I guess. If you guys don't know, Rastras is uh, quite the prominent figure in our art community. He is known for his landscapes, his really nice portraits, and of course color dodge. He is the king of color dodge. Uh, my art style is actually quite different from his. His focus is more on realism, I think. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Stylized portrait tutorial. Ooh. Yeah, so this is the vibe I'm going for. You know, this is a simple sketch that I had prepared for this episode. Uh, looks like he starts off with a sketch already done, as most of these tutorials seem to begin with. So I guess we'll prep that and we'll be right back. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I tried to get as close to his style as I possibly could. Also, I have these colors picked out for me. And what I like to do with these stylized portraits is have a nice combination of warm colors and cool colors. Should we go with our own color palette or should we just use his? Hmm. Okay, after much deliberation, we have decided to go with our own color palettes. Honestly, she's giving me kind of like Faith from Mirror's Edge vibes right now. <laughs> and so my line art is on a multiply layer. Oh, huh. Line art on a multiply layer. I don't think I've ever tried that before, but let's give it a shot. Okay, it's on a multiply layer now. So it looks like Ross just begins blocking in his colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that and hope for the best. It's at this point when I started regretting all of my life choices and I could hear circus music playing in the background and it's because uh, I hate blocking in colors. Manually blocking in colors is the worst thing to exist. Looks like he goes in with the shading next. He's saying to use a soft round brush, but fun fact for you guys, I use one single brush for literally everything I do. <laughs> He's also using Photoshop instead of um, Clip Studio Paint, so there's a bit of a difference there, but we're gonna do our best to uh, make do. <laughs> one brush blending mode I really like to use is just a soft round, but turn down the hardness just a little bit, so it has more of a fade like that. Soft round, but turn down the hardness. Um. <laughs> I think that's like brush density or something. It immediately builds form and is moving forward. And so because I have no brain, I just went in with the airbrush and my usual brush, which is just basically the brush I use for painting and line art and sketching and everything. The brush is literally called sketch line color brush in my files. Something like that. Okay. Hey, let's put in the hair color right now. And then he starts blocking in the hair so let's go ahead and do that as well yeah it looks like his basing is pretty simple for the most part he doesn't do anything too complicated during the basing bits I guess to keep it looking all like loose and flowy. I wonder if it's the brush I'm using, but here I actually found that I was having a bit of trouble getting the same sort of smooth hair as Ross. I actually went through a couple of different color combo options, but we ended up going with red, although I don't think it helped with the whole Faith Connors vibe thing that I was trying to avoid. And now I'm gonna try some of the dark accents, which I really love. So Ross adds some really, really dark accents to the hair, and you see me trying to mimic that. I'm starting to incorporate my own painting techniques now, this is not good. Yeah, you can see me kind of starting to struggle a little bit with the hair, and that's mostly because uh, Ross has some brush strokes that I do not have, which makes his hair look a little bit more detailed. 
Okay, and then he starts putting in dark accents on the skin. So I guess we're going to go ahead and start on her brows. I do like thick brows. Thick brows are fun. Not much to say here, just me rendering in some more details, adding in the eyes, doing the accents on the face that Ross was doing. To uh, put in some of the light! I love adding this part. I tried to light, not the highlights, but the light. So I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate um, based on my own experience. Let's add the shadow a little bit back in. Okay, a little bit of light. Um, hmm. So it looks like he adds it on the nose. I take the background color and apply it on the side of the cheeks. So it has that nice three-dimensional global pop. I don't use this technique a lot, but it looks really nice. This is essentially just taking the background color and brushing it on the edges to create an effect of sort of bounce light almost. Actually, you know what could be really cool? If maybe we add like a like a dragon. Something that matches the character essence. Like a tail here. Ooh, that's cool. I really like that. So, um, you might be wondering, why didn't I add something in the background? I didn't have the brain cells for it. <laughs> I went through a couple of iterations that I cut out. And now let's do some of the highlights. Okay, so highlights into the hair, the corner of the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. This part actually went over relatively easy. It wasn't too bad, you just see me rendering a bit more detail into the eyes, and then I start adding more highlight strands into the hair, which is also what Ross does. <laughs> And then I start trying to render more detail back into it. How am I gonna do a painting without color dodge? So, let's do some color dodge. You guys ready for this? Yes! <laughs> it's color dodge o'clock! I can see why uh, he is so obsessed with it. It's really, really addicting. I feel like this is definitely something that I would love to incorporate into my own art. When we paint with layers, sometimes we're a little mechanic and we need just a boost of painterly strokes just to make sure we have everything to left. Yep, so I'm just rendering some detail back into the jacket that I didn't have before uh, and just adding some, you know, brush strokes and fixing everything up last minute rendering. Just making sure everything kind of looks the way that I want it to look. Adding a little details here and there. See me trying to paint some of that hair detail back in that I messed up earlier? As a final touch, I like to add an accent of color around the whole thing, so it kind of looks like we started with it, but we actually ended with it. I'm not sure what brush he's using for it. Um, let's try the airbrush, maybe? Fun fact for you guys, so yeah, we started off with the magenta, but I ended up kind of turning the hue slider and making it turquoise because I thought it contrasted a little bit better with the red. And that's it. I think we are done. This is my uh, not Faith Connors, <laughs> Rastra style painting. Alright, I think we are all done. Done. I think I did a pretty okay job, but let me know what you guys think as well. This tutorial is overall quite easy to follow. I feel like Ross explains everything relatively clearly. Um, it is definitely going to be a lot easier for an intermediate artist than it is for a beginner artist because I feel like there are some steps, some basic steps that Ross does skip over and um, likely assumes that you already know. So I would say um, that's something that tripped me up just a little bit, but everything else was totally fine, totally easy to follow, and I highly recommend uh, you guys try it out as well if you haven't already. <laughs> 
and yeah i think we will stop here for today so thank you guys so much for watching again and remember every day is a color dodge day <laughs>